Okay, so welcome everybody. This is Invisible. And here we are on the world where we built our counter last time. And today it's gonna be an add on for that video. And I'm gonna show you how to do this little thing a ding. Now, this is the output circuit for the machine for the whole counter you made last time. And yeah, the reason I decided to make it a separate video was because the main tutorial was already getting pretty long and I didn't want it to drag even more. And also because there's a lot of possibilities for this and I wanted to go over some of them in this video like way more in depth than in the other one. So yeah, today I'm going to show you how to do some things like for example this connect two or more counters together to do whoa some lag to do this right here as you can see it cycles in two digit numbers so here it shall turn to 70 and so on and so forth now as you can see this little circuit is really not that big it's just this red thing and so yeah, we're gonna be going through how to do that and some options for it. So with no further ado, let's show you another example, shall we? Uh, let's go. Okay, here we are at another example. You might actually recognize this. This is my, well, my intro, pretty much. This is the machine or the whole the whole thing I use for my intro and I like it quite a bit but that's not the reason to to show it not to brag but to show you what I'm doing with this so what I'm doing here is using this little output to create another number which in this case is either a 1 as you can see here or a 0 wait no Actually, this needs to be over there for it to be a zero. Yeah, there you go. So it's either either a one or zero. Now, it's not a very complicated or very impactful, to say it like that, um, example of a of the output. But it shall do. It's just one of the things you can do. Of course, the the possibilities are lie within your imagination. Of course, this is just an example. Now, you probably want to know how it works. So let's head over to our main tutorial world and check that out. Okay, here we are. Back at the tutorial world. And um, let's see where to start with this little thing. So the basic premise of this... Is this too loud? Okay, the basic premise of this is that once the counter reaches a certain number or numbers an output will be given out uh, this is an example right here right now I have it set so at 6 I believe it'll give an output I don't know why 6 but it's 6 I'm pretty sure not don't quote me on that though 5 6 yeah there you go so yeah, you just saw the output. The output is pretty much just a redstone signal. But with that redstone signal, you can connect it to anything you want. Right now, it's this lamp right here. So every time, every single time this counter reaches 6, this lamp shall turn on. And another nice feature is that it only turns on or the output like only stays on for the time the number is displayed. Once it turns to 7 or any other number it'll turn off. Like if it's not 6 it won't turn off. If it's 6 but only 6 it'll turn on. Uh, you can of course make it so it's 6 and another number. For example right now we are at 0 so the way you code it is you stop your counter at the number you want to do it and just come back here replace a non-solid block with a solid and now this counter is programmed so that every time it reaches 0 and 6 
this lamp will turn on. As so. Six turns on, seven turns off, nine zero turns on, one turns off. So yeah, of course it's fully customizable. Right now this is just an example. Another thing that could happen would be probably this. Okay, so yeah, now it's programmed so that when the counter reaches zero, this lamp... Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Anyways, don't mind that little fail right there. Uh, right now, let's get to how to build this thing right here. So, yeah. Let's do a cool little transition here. And let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is place these pistons right here. Now, to start off, you're gonna want to come over here and at the same level that these are on, go out three blocks and place this one. Let's see. One, two, three, three blocks and it's also facing down. So that'll be your first piston and your guide piston. Now, once you've set this one up, you want to go and place four blocks down and four blocks to the side. So it's a four by four square. This will help as a guide to where to place your other pistons. So now that you have that square, you can pretty much see by yourself where the other pistons are at. So over here, it's at the bottom left and it's facing to the right. Here it's at the bottom right and it's facing up. Here's top right and it's facing left. And this one is the one you placed at the start. So now you can go ahead and remove two of these blocks. And now you have the same thing as over here. But instead of seven, you only have one. Now make sure that these blocks are all transparent. Uh, that means they can be either glass or glowstone or any transparent block. I can't think of any more now. But yeah, any transparent block. And yeah, that's pretty much your basic setup. Now let's get to the wiring, which starts like this. So let's start with, with your first piston you placed. And you go over here. You have a repeater with no delay again. Make sure to pay attention for the delays. If you place one delay wrong, the whole thing is not going to work. So pay attention, okay? So, no delay, that goes into a block, and that block powers a redstone on its side. You can remove this one, and that is your first piston done. Now we're going to go down from that piston into this one, and this one is also one of the simplest ones, so just a block with a repeater on top of it. This one set it to four ticks delay. Another block and that blocks power that block powers the piston. And you're pretty much done. Woohoo. Now this one, as you can see here, you come out from the main line that you have over here. Again you place a piston facing that way. That piston powers a block and that block powers a redstone. So it's pretty much the same as this one over here. So that's done now. And now this one, you come uh, uh, there, right beside the redstone that is on top of the glowstone. You place a repeater with four ticks delay. And that powers a block, which powers a redstone dust below it. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it for the output wiring and pistons and everything itself. Now, the last thing you want to do is place right here. You place a block with a redstone dust on top and a lever and turn that on. Make sure it's on. That way, every time we get the solid block, the repeater on the other side is going to be able to turn on. Whoops, that's not a repeater. That's a repeater. 
as you can see it turns on if it's off well it obviously will be off so just make sure it's on of course you can power it with a redstone torch or anything of your liking but I find that the lever is just the most reliable and you can also toggle it between on and off if you don't want the output to work so yeah I recommend using the lever so yeah that's pretty much it for the output itself now alongside in this video I'm gonna show you how to hook that output to another counter to make it count bigger digits which of course can be used for scoreboards or timers yeah this can be a perfectly accurate timer uh, so yeah it's pretty useful so that's why I'm gonna show you how to do it now okay so the basic principle of that is you wanna connect this repeater right here into a repeater which goes over here which is into this block where the the outputs of the button and lever both go to so yeah but it's not just that you also need to shorten the pulse that is given out by the output so to do this you need to get yourself a sticky piston and you place it on the side then you place a block on top of it and now another repeater that one powers a block and a redstone top redstone top <laughs> redstone dust below it and now you just pretty much got a staircase down so just do as I do or do whatever you want to do but the main idea is to get that dust into that repeater so again just stair staircase down one more like a so and just fill it in with redstone and that's pretty much it <laughs> again very simple and if we go and test it out wait let's see we're at number three right now so it changes uh, number zero we need to set it to zero of course seven eight nine and zero so we stop it at zero go to the back and right where this right on the side of this redstone dust you place a solid block any solid block of just of your choice and of course you heard it cycled once which means that it's working so now let's just check it out let me just make a day haha nice command blocks right there so let's give it a try that turned to nine and now that these are both nines they should turn to zeros zero zero and then this one would change but of course it's not wired right now as you can see this one doesn't have the output circuit so what you would need to do there is just copy it if this give if this little block gives you trouble of course you can just move it here do the same thing but on the other side and then just do this of course you wouldn't have that and there you go that would still work let's give it a shot nope. seven eight nine and ten so yeah as you can see that works and as I said that's very useful for stuff like timers scoreboards or just counting different things you wanna count I guess <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much the basic idea of the output you can you can use it for anything you want as I said make sure to to build it and show me either in the comments or make a video what you have done with it and what you have done with my counter you know I wanna see what you people can do with it so yeah that's that has been pretty much it for this video thank you very much for watching this has been invisible if you like this video or found it helpful and or found it help 
helpful. Make sure to leave a like and if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to, to subscribe to me. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.